First things first though, remember you need to have that build pattern down, like one, two, three, four. Like you're never gonna do it another another order. It's like that is the order. Another thing you wanna be hypercritical of is like your, your build placement, right? So the way that walls work as well is if the more they edit it, the wall's at 98, right? So if I edit it, 43. If I edit it again, 18. If I edit it again, nine, six, five. All right, so it just gets weaker and weaker the more you edit it. All right, hello. What's up, guys? Today, we're doing another private session. We're coaching Gonzo, or I believe that's how you say his name. We're gonna call with him right now, but as soon as he comes back, we get straight into it. I'm excited to help him. Yep. All right, cool. What up, what up? Myself. Jesus. So you can do 90s pretty well. Yeah, it's about all I know how to do. Even then though, bro, like I still feel like people still like 90 more, like faster than me. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'm like doing something wrong or what. I mean, your 90s are pretty, they're pretty solid. I mean, they're not like S tier 90s, but my, my 90s aren't S tier. Quite a little bit. I just um, I'm like super rusty, and I can 90 a little bit. That's about it. Okay, I think I think at the base, what I want to do is I want to teach you a couple a couple simple moves to practice. And if you're struggling to practice them, then you can take a little bit more time to practice it. Okay, and then. Um, and then I want to I want to see you one v one somebody else, and then kind of critique you like all of the fighting IQ things because this is, this will be like mechanics training essentially. The way I look at it is is this is like training your. I need to beat the game. This is goddamn level up. This is like training your, like uh, it's like opening your playbook, right? So like if I teach you a okay. move and you can do it and you can master it, or you can like understand how to master it, like by me explaining it now and you can figure it, master it later on, then now you have that move in your arsenal and you can. Whip it out and a free build like you like for example you have 90s as like your, one of your main moves right like so that's that's a lot of what, what building is right and then like iq is all going to come from just understanding peaks and angles and like how to best take advantage of it and so mm -hmm. what i want to do for that is i want to have you 1v1 somebody in speed realistics and i'll watch and you'll, you'll just screen share on discord and i will i'll just i'll take notes over the fighting and then I, i'm sure i'm sure you probably watched that in some of my videos yeah yeah um, for sure and then we'll we'll do that. I think that's that those always work out really well. So cool, cool. Um, so first thing I want to show you that again, I don't know if you've seen these in the video. If you have, let me know. And if mm -hmm. you want me to still re-explain it, I will gladly, gladly will. Um, gotcha. is the Thwifo, the Thwifo cone. So like a lot of your retakes like don't have to be so complicated. And a lot of your oh my god, I'm like climbing on the wall. A lot of your like a lot of your building mechanics maneuvers don't have to be so like it's not all about 90s and triple edits and all those things, right? It's about like mm. staying consistent and, and like flowing through your builds. So if you're going to do a 90, right? And then you still don't have high ground. One of the simple things you can do is a Thwifo cone. So it's really simply put, it's, um, if you want to get here, let's stay, stay right there. I'll just come over here. It's, you, you're coming up and you turn around like this, you put a cone up like this. So oh, not that, but oh my God, I'm doing it too close like that. I don't know if you can see from where you are, but Simply put, oh, you're just no. This looks crazy. You're just slinging some walls <laughs> up and some cones. It trust it's really really easy. So I, I mean, okay, I can, so you were I'll, slinging to the left. 
Yeah, so you want to be able to do you want to be able to do it to the left and the right because again, you don't know if the guy's to your right, right? Like this is the whole point of this is like you're gonna safely go up and you don't want to do this infinitely. It's like you do it a couple times, and then if, again, this is like a big this is a core mechanic that you can throw into like anything. Like for example, I can throw up a, a thwifo cone into another thwifo cone into like a stair into a side jump into a ninety. Like you see all that I just did there. So I did two thwifo cones into a, uh, like a ninety right there on the stair, and then into a side jump which is right there and then into a 90. so i, I did a side jump into a 90 off of a thwifo cone okay so so the thwifo is basically i'm gonna do it slow you're like something like that yep yep i, I mean my, my motion was like way off but... no you're good your keyboard mouse right yeah, yeah yeah okay so yeah you're just gonna literally just come here and flick up the walls like if i was to just do walls it would look like this like no cone right I know I'm blocking you off here. You can just build it right to the side here. There you go. Come on. Yeah, build beside you. Yeah. So if I was to do just walls, it would just be like, like this, right? You're just slinging the walls behind you, and the order is like boom, boom. It's kind of, it's actually kind of like, well, like this, like that, like that. You kind of just do the bottom two because you want to hit those first, and then you kind of sling it up like. So it's like a, it's kind of like a circular motion. It's like, yeah. It's okay. Bottom so two, like top two, bottom two, top two. The the bottom left, the one in the back. Then I go up, and then. To the left again. And then when, when I throw the cone on, like at the end? Yeah, right at the end. I'm coming oh, back I'm down. I'm going to cone myself. No, no, no. You got to look high enough. That's the point. I got to look high enough. Thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's also about timing. So so a lot of things with building of like, if you're like, oh, I just cone, I keep flooring myself and coning myself. It's all about build placing and build placement timing. So if you're building the cone too early, right, that's like, that's, that's why building can be so complicated because it's not only just learning how to hit the buttons fast enough and like be accurate with them, but it's also about learning how to like, oh my goodness. About timing the buttons right and timing timing the placement of certain things. Right, I do that a lot, man. Like when I'm building up in like a fight, I'll um I'll cone myself. Like in my head, I'm trying to do something, but like my fingers like can't keep up. Yep. So you're doing it right. Just just get a little faster to really get like into a flow with it. It should just be a really like nice solid movement. Remember, like like okay. So what what I'm, what I'm seeing you doing is like. Am I jumping with this or no? No, you don't have. Oh, yeah, you kind of have to. Um, what I'm seeing you're doing though is like you're so like as soon as you start throwing in the cone and trying to be faster I'm seeing that you're losing your fundamentals of it. So like what I just saw you do is like you for, for the first while you were like hitting this Oh, wow okay. For the first while you were hitting something like this Like you were actually doing it and you're coming up and you were you know You weren't doing the cones, but you're hitting like the rhythm of it like the one two three four You know one mm -hmm. two three four one two three four and you can just really click them. You don't have to turbo it. You can just get that rhythm down. And then as soon as you started doing the cones and, and speeding that up, you missed it. And you were like, you'd go one, two, three, four. Like it has to be that one, two, three, mm. four. One, two, three, four. Okay. That rhythm. And then you just toss a cone on it. Uh, also, this will be really, really handy. Like this, even just the, the rhythm of building these walls like this, where you go, you're going out and around like that, right? Like even just that rhythm. Like if I was to just do this and oh, I just put a cone, but if I was to just do this and just... It's still a handy thing. Like if you're like on low ground here, or you're like tarping, right? Like you can hit this wall, right? Like you can kind of do the thwifo cone from anywhere. Like you can hit these walls. Mm. It's good to have that rhythm like down. Like that the wall rhythm that we just did is, is important. So right. This is a this is a multi win move here. So yeah. So again, just try it. So just hit the rhythm. No, one, no. two, three, four, and then the cone on top. Keep yourself moving. So how high up am I looking? Like. To get this cone up, like really this, here. This how about this? Like... Take, take a look at my screen real quick, and then I, that way you can like really see. Like... Okay. You see? Yeah, I got it up. Let me know when you're in. I'm in. Okay, okay. So again, it's one, two, three, four, right? And like, also another thing that's really important that I didn't mention, I guess, is like cross their placement when you're placing it. So like, I can place the one and two. Like mm -hmm. that, and I can place the three and four like that. So that's not necessarily what I'm doing, but like I'm showing you that like really it should just be like maybe like that. Like as you can, you can see how fast you can get with it. Like if you hit a little flick motion, it's like I'm really just going like this basically. And same with thing, same thing with like it back. yeah, same thing with your edits, right? Like if you were to do this edit, like you're you can only do or you can do like this, right? Or you can just do this, and it does right. the same thing. So so again, so it's one two three four one two three four, and seeing like I'm I'm not even realizing that I'm doing these things because like. I'm, normally I don't break these things down, but this is this is fine. I'm, I'm noticing that I'm jumping around here, so like around the bottom of the ramp, right? So around around here, and I'm jumping and landing here. So it's just like one, two, three, four. 
when you jump, does it think you do you think it like helps you um go to that second level of walls better? Because yeah, I feel just, like I'm like it just it I'm helps moving you. the mouse like all around. Yeah, like let me see. Like I mean, let me see if, if I don't jump here. Let's see. It's just slower. That's what it is. It's just slower. A little clunkier. And I have to like I'm pressing like like right now I'm pressing like W and A to like adjust my character to like move to the side here. If I just jump, then mid air I can be like adjusting. Like when I'm mm -hmm. jumping, I'm not holding W. So I'm like I'm holding W right now, jumping, and I'm letting go, and I'm holding like A to sling me to like like you know I'm looking this way when I'm hitting it. So I'm holding A. So I'm going jumping, holding A. Like or I'm just I'm just letting go actually. But anyway, so okay. it's, it's it's one two three four. And then when you're at your top, then you put your cone. So, okay, thing, and, you, and you let go of W because if you keep holding W when you're in the air, you'll basically just start, like, drifting in the direction that you're facing, right? Exactly. If I just hold W the entire time here, I mean, I'm hitting it, but it's, like, it's a lot harder. It's, like, wait. So, it's just, it? just, like, I would just analyze because, like, you have different minds than me and I have different minds than you. And so, like, for me, mm -hmm. my cone's on Q. And so, like, some things might be... Eat, like I can't exactly do the fastest mechanics, like, to the left because, like, imagine I'm trying to, like, come down on the wall, press Q... While going left right. and, and, and hold A, your, yeah. So finger. it's like it might be different for you. So just I would just be super hypercritical of your movement and just try to get the move down. Like whatever it takes to get the move down is is like that's that's all that matters. Like as long as you get it. And then another thing I want to show you is like so you're seeing here that I, I, another thing you want to be hypercritical of is like your your build placement, right? So you're seeing like there's maybe that's like a sloppy build, right? Like I don't see anything mm -hmm. else that's messy here. And same thing you'll, you'll you can recognize this like when you build your boxes, right? Like if you're building full boxes, like there's a sloppy placement, right? Like if we go out, right? Boom, like that. Like I missed a missed the editing, like missed timing on my builds there. Mm -hmm. So be cautious of like what you're doing. Like you don't want to be the move isn't the move looks like this. It doesn't look like you're going up and you're doing this and then you're hitting the cut. Like it's it's very very it's condensed. It's very like it's easy. It's once you get it down, it's very very simple. Uh, and also another thing with like build placement that I want to show you is when you're doing the Twyfo cone, you could probably I think you. Yeah, you can't you can throw cones over the top. So if you're not careful, like because again, where you're looking matters, right? So if you didn't right. know the, the wall trick, right? So if you look at the numbers here and you place a cone, you're gonna place two of the cones by just by looking at the numbers. So if you're here, oh, numbers, shit. cones, two. Just because the, the way that the, the wall works, right? So if you look at us past a certain point, you see how it, it kind of flips. So like again, that same thing with that, that editing thing where I taught you like this. Mm -hmm. Like it's like there's a little line right here that's it's invisible, but if once you place it, it'll place both. So that's when you're tarping, right? Like you can literally just, oh, let me see. You can literally just look straight and place both. You're not actually, you're not having to look up and down, right? And that's the whole thing with building is you don't want to have to look, you don't want to have to look like crazy. Like the, the hardest retakes, like for example, another one I'm going to teach you is, is going to be this diagonal jump. And I see a lot of people like what I'm doing is, is probably like textbook, right? This is like, I would, I would say this is, this is perfect. Like it's not nothing crazy. I'm not doing it full speed, but like what I'm doing here is great. Mm -hmm. And then what I see people do is they go like this, you know, cause they're trying to like hit the side jump and then look up for the cone. It's like, it's yeah, not this. That's movement. usually what I do when I side jump, I look like directly down. Yeah. It's not this movement. It's like, cause <laughs> you, cause you can hit this movement here. And so it just, it's just the, the fundamentals of just learning, like, where does the movement like kind of like where does the placing kind of start and stop like that is like a huge thing that, that will teach like if you can understand that you'll you'll be able to master a bunch of things really quick so i think All so right. with the thwifo cone right if you're not careful you can place it over the wall at a certain point here so like if you're up at this ramp up here right you can place it over these walls boom 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 not even having to jump it really um and if you edit the cone like that you can do it so there's there's a lot of nifty things you can do like you can Edit the Thwifo cone, come up, edit, edit the Thwifo cone towards the player, back up again, and go. Also, this is like, what? Mm -hmm. No, I was going to say, so, so you could kind of like use that too, right? Like if you get real good with it. Yeah. If someone's like chasing you, you get the Thwifo and then pretty much just cone them. Yeah, a lot of things I'll right do, I'll, I'll go like this and then I'll hit it like this. And so the big thing with Thwifo cone, the why, why I all love to teach it is because you're looking back at the player. So like if you're doing it, like you're not... If the player is in front of you, you're not going to Thwifo cone behind you. Like that, it's only if the guy, like, you know, you're going up and the guy's behind you and he's trying to fight you and he's like you know, jumping in or whatever. You're able to like turn around, get your visuals to look at him, get your eyes to kind of see where he's at, like get a, get a better, like get a better, like recognition of where he's at. And so then, then you're like, oh, I have high ground. And then you just go up and it's very simple. But yeah, no, you can definitely throw in like these with, with this and hitting a side jump. And the Thwifo cone is just a really handy trick to learn. Like it's like probably just the, the most used thing uh, and it could be used in so many different combinations so again it, very simply put one two three four cone and you can just hit a little jump 
hit like I jump like what at the bottom of the ramp like kind of like at the middle right before the edit thing to kind of hear so mm -hmm. I'm just kind of jumping and it's like I'm sure I'm not perfectly jumping every time but no, that's pretty consistent and then yeah, you just hit the hit the left whenever you get that down then you can move to the right and to the left and kind of just go back and forth and then yeah you can throw in whatever you want to, to a thwipe cone it's perfect so go ahead and I will just I'll just watch you in game all right wait, wait, wait. okay so you don't actually start the build until you're in the air or you start the build and then you jump it's all just a movement for me I don't know how to explain it First things first, though. Remember, you need to have that that build pattern down. Like one, two, three, four. Like you're never gonna do it another another order. It's like that is the order. I think I'm. Yeah, that W key thing is like. Also, do you have double movement on? I think so, but I think my settings like suck for it, bro. Let me give you like, my I settings. I turn and it's like, it's trash. Yeah, let me give you my settings. I don't think mine are like anything crazy, but that's kind of what I like of like a. I'm on like 68, 90, 135. Okay, go to 76, 90, 135. And let me know what you think. I haven't, I don't, I don't touch my settings. I just, I found it. I like it. I know other people use it. Yeah, it feels way better. Perfect. Yeah. Alright, you doing this? Yep, go for it. Yep. God damn, hold on. Gotta get used to this. It does feel better though. Like, I feel like I'm not like, um... I feel like I'm in control of my movement a little better. Yeah, you're hitting it. Like, I'll, not, now just like, again... I know it, it, I, I get really antsy when I'm learning a new move, so I always try to like... Alright, okay, got it, now I'm just speed it up. Like, so, take it slow, right? Like, just take my time. Yeah, take it slow. Like. And also, every time you're messing up, like, if you want, I would suggest pausing and be like, okay, what happened? I was too low on the ramp. Like, I always, always start, like, try to make people self-reflect on what they did and, like, why that happened. Right, like, understanding. Because, yeah, I mean, building in Fortnite is so fast, right? Like, if you don't take a second to, like, look at it, like, there you're not looking high enough, right? Like, the reason why it's getting stuck in your head is you're looking too low. Yeah. But, but try to find that okay, fine so line, even, remember, because you don't... far enough up. Yeah, that, that might be a thing, too. That seems like you are far enough, so. Remember, you want to find that fine line of not having to, like, swing your mouse all the way up, right? Like, it's not, like, that crazy drastic movement, so. It just takes time, though. It's your first time doing this this actual mechanic, so it's a little bit. Be all right, let me see you do it one more time. Yep. You get on so, the side. Yep. To come up, jump. I mean, I'm even doing two right now, but. Fucking fail. You're good, you're good. <clears throat> I'm going to reset this. Yep. So here, come up, swing, and jump. Like I, I actually, I'm not gonna lie. I can, I can do it from like here. Like, see, like I'm just like, not even moving. I'm just jumping from the base of the ramp. Mm. So it's actually more about crosshair placement than than what I'm realizing, I guess. If I have the movement, so I can obviously keep forward momentum. But you can do it from just the base of the ramp. Damn it. I think I'm letting go of the wall too early. Yeah, I think your cone placing on you, like closer to you, is your build timing placement. So it's like you're trying to hit cone too early. Because I'm really, I can, like, I'm making myself do it right now. Like I'm hitting, I'm hitting, either you're hitting cone too early or you're holding on to your, like, your cone too long. Like, I think it's too early. I think it's, um, like you're, like you're doing, like, my your, crosshair placement. I think I'm, like, um, looking under this this line here like um like I'll, I'll do it like this basically so i'll go like this and then i'll come back down and i hit it like while i'm facing this, this yeah it's, wall it's right your, here. it's your it's like your build it's your build timing right so you're like you're hitting mm -hmm. it you're going like wall 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 and then like you're doing cone instantly but it's more like wall 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 then cone like it's like a little bit like of a delay a little further up yeah it's a little bit of a delay like and again, even if even at, like at a core of this mechanic, if you were just to not ever do cones, like if you were just to do walls, this is this is potentially good enough as its own. Like, and this also can be thrown into a high wall technique, which is a super busted technique. 
so you don't even need the cone, but you definitely want to know, like, again, you want to build up your, like, inventory of moves. Dude, why is it easier going to the left? Yeah, sometimes what it is. Try heck? it. No, try it, try it. That's weird. I'm still messing up, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting up high enough. Because I'm, okay. like, um, cornering myself. I'm, like... You know what it is? Because I'm not, like, in a fluid motion, I feel like. Yep. And I'm, like, stopping at the top of the ramp when I should still be going forward. Okay. Okay, so if you want to move on, we can we can keep doing that move. I can I, I can quickly show some other things. I don't want to, like, spend the entire session going over one move. Gotcha, um, gotcha. But, yeah, I mean, I would just... That's something to practice, right? You understand, like, the, the basis of it. The next thing I want to show is like it's an extension of this, but it's just the high wall. Maybe you've definitely seen this, and you, maybe you know how to do this, but it's literally just you're going up and you just throw another a wall on top of it. So let me let me screen share so you can kind of see the flow of this one as well. Let me know you're into the screen share. All right. I'm in. Okay. So it's, it's literally just like normally what you've been doing is this, right? You're this. You're doing this. It's just you look up a little bit higher, and it's a little bit of a different flow. Like you see how like you kind of have to hit it again. But the big thing with these high walls is like what I see a lot of people do is they'll like they go like this and they're really trying to hit it or they'll come up and they'll be a little bit short on the ramp. So they'll be like here, like or they'll be down here trying to hit it. And it's just like you have to be like the perfect perfect rhythm of it is like this, right? So you're seeing him go up and obviously there's a stair there, go up and then boom. So go up, swing around. It's like you see how like I'm just like doing like a circular motion almost. Mm -hmm. It's very it's not like it's not like uh, here, here. It's like no, everything in Fortnite has to be kind of smooth. Even if you were to just just do a high wall, right. it's, it's here, up, here, up, and you can. So it's kind of like the toy, the toy fold, like how you do like the bottom walls first and swing around and catch the top. Yep. So just when you just do like the left side and then come back down and do the back walls. Yep. So yeah, you want to do high walls for a lot of reasons, right? Like you can, if you can just do like this, right, where you're just you're just turning around. Turn around, high wall. Turn around, possible high wall. You can also throw a Thwipe going into it in a way. Like, it'll be like, it'll look like this. And you can edit through it, right? So, like, this is a super safe, like. You can also throw the, you can throw the Thwipe cone and then do a high wall through it. This is what I like to do mostly, is I'll just do a Thwipe cone and then throw a high wall up into it. So, Thwipe cone. Switch direction. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can, yeah, you can do whatever you want with it. It's, it's just not, it's another layer to be protected on, because a lot of times people will just, like, if you're doing this, let's say I'm the enemy with brick. I'll just come over here and I'll like try to slap the cone over or like I'll come here and like if that hits you right like I could maybe maybe I could reach the cone there like there's always certain angles where you could put a brick cone here instead and if you don't put your own right like that's the whole point of like peace right you have to whoever can get the best peace control is going to win the fight right so that's the extension of it so we've got like a high wall which is super simple again it's just like a rhythm here come up I'm kind of actually doing it wrong right now because oh Boom. Um, and the whole point is just this one wall is high wall. So that's the high wall. Um, I think there's a, anything else. The next thing that could be handy to show off about the Eiffel cone would be like, uh, would be doing just one of these where you're kind of coming out here and, and you're hitting a like double edit. And like, if you can, if you can learn to do this consistently, I know this, this may seem like kind of wild, but if you can, if you can learn to play off of like your cones and, and stairs by just going out here, let me reset and do it again. So we thwipe a cone, thwipe a cone into a stair, into into this. Like what you're doing here is you're coming out and coning. So I'm going thwipe a cone into a double edit, and then you're hitting it, swinging it around. All right, so now if the guy's following you, you cone him again. Oh, shit. Into another one, into up, like into another one. Like you see how I just did it again. Like you can just do this rhythm all day. All right, like this is super easy. You're just coming out and you're coning him as you're doing the five foot cone. So five foot, five foot cone. Also, just understanding like that you don't have to do it off of just cones. So you can do like this, and then you can come here. You can kind of do one of these maneuvers where you're, it's just simply if you're doing the five foot cone. And you do a stare at this next one, right? You can come here and do that. Does that make sense? Is that does that like look easy? Or, like makes sense? Fuck no. Okay, okay, okay. So look. <laughs> no, so no, look. it makes sense. I'm just saying it doesn't so look you, easy. You were, you were doing this already. I'm digging on my clunky ass builds. <laughs> you were doing this already. So just practice. Master the thwipe cone. Okay, now I want you to have this down. Yeah. Right. You can do a thwipe cone with a bridge in between it each time. So thwipe cone bridge. 
Black foot cone, bridge. And you were doing this already. Thank okay. You. This is this is literally this, you know how to do this. This is this is Fortnite 101, right? This is like right, right. Also, yeah, this yeah. this this high wall maneuver like will help you if for some reason like you need to change directions or you need to like restart. Like let's say like let's say I mean this happens a lot to me. Let's say you're ramping and I don't know you do this, right? Let's say you do this and like before this you were doing you know you were ramping up, right? You hit a cone and yeah you're coming through and you're like oh oh you know you ever do that? You're like oh, where's my top? Does yeah, that ever happen yeah, to you? Yeah. So now you have this like quick little maneuver. Me. Yeah, exactly. You're like, oh, where's my mm -hmm. top? No big deal. And then you can either do a thwipe for cone, or yeah, or you can just do two walls. Like it's just understanding that like, like, oh, okay, I missed it. Okay, no big deal. Missed it again. No big deal. Boom, mm -hmm. I'm here. Like, so it's it's that like maneuver that you now have a master for. Um, but anyway, so th this like I just want to show so that you can do a thwipe for cone into like a bridge into a Thwaifo cone, and then you can use the bridge, right, as a cone on the top, just about placement, right? So if you look, see if I'm looking here, it's gonna place in front of, I'm looking above the ramp, it's gonna place above the ramp, okay. right? So, and then you can, just understanding what you can do with this. So you can keep going upwards, or you can change directions by just simply connecting to this. So you're gonna do stair, floor, stair, and these are, these are I mean, this is the most simple, basic mm -hmm. build combination of all time, stair, floor, stair, and then you can do it again, stair, floor, stair, again, again, and, it's, and it's all this is showing you and like all this is doing is it's teaching you like build placement timings like you have to be quick with switching between both of them so here stair floor stair quickly switch to place the cone stair floor stair boom boom and then if you hit a double edit on accident like i just did you can just charleston into whatever you want mm -hmm. but showing that that's that's nifty to know now you have like understand that that's a possibility let me think what else we can do off of a FIFO cone. We can do a FIFO cone into side jumps where you're literally just coming up here and then you can build that. Oh my god. Come up here, hit it like that, do another one, like like that. You can hit it into like a little little something something. That's something that you can add into a FIFO cone. What was your first like retake that you learned? That 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 was like helpful in game. Like other than like the Twifo. Um, or like the one that you just like grinded in free builds and you were like, okay, then when you started using it in a game, you're like, all right. I mean, if you, want, if, you want, if you want the honest answer, it was probably like this <laughs> because I started playing the game oh, six years like ago. Oh, just like they changed the direction? Yeah, I started playing the game so long ago that that, that was the retake. But I, I would say like what I'm teaching you now is like, that's what you should be learning. Like that's these things you can whip out in game and like none of these maneuvers, I'm, I'm not trying to teach you to like. Okay, dude, make a triple edit and come up and full right, box somebody. Right, like right. this is like you're just gonna die every time. Like, I'm like I'm actually helping you find something that's gonna keep you protected and safe, and then you can start throwing in your edits and like all this other jazz that I do. Like you don't have to be doing any of this to be successful in game. So, yeah, I, I never felt like that either because I see you know it's you can hit a clip, but a lot of times it winds up in like a 50-50 shot too. Yeah. So like someone someone just standing there with a pump in your face, like you're gonna you're gonna die. But like yeah. um. I also feel like the free building thing, like getting it down smooth, like I feel like that helps. Um, oh, or like doing all, doing the edit course in free builds helps because you're just smoother with your builds in general. You know what I mean? Yeah, hundred percent. And like exactly I can't right. free build for, bro. Like I I try and and I just like always resort to doing like nineties and triple edits, and um, that's really it. Like I leave myself like unprotected. It's like it sucks, and I see like these kids. I one v one them, and they're like building like a tunnel into the sky. I'm like I don't. Are you doing that well that yeah so now you you've got the thwifo cone built into your arsenal you've got the high wall like understood right you just need to keep practicing and it's just things. combining all that and then it's just combining it literally that's all it is okay. and then you, you did ask like what is the retake that i use in game and i teach this a ton it's mm -hmm. just the the side jump the diagonal side jump so you're coming here and it says like this maneuver at a base right get like it's just like the thwifo cone like if we if we could restart and pick this one i would probably pick this one like I, they're both they're both the must knows like you've got to know how to diagonal side jump because it's just too easy to do. Like the, the, the actual regular side jumps can be complicated because you can bonk your head and like you can fall below and it's like, but the diagonal Wait, what's one- the difference between the diagonal and the regular? Okay, so diagonal one is like, I'm right now I'm just holding D. Like just, literally just D, right? If you want to speed uh -huh. it up, you hold W and D. If you want to speed it up faster, you can sprint and hold, you know, you can do all the things, right? right. But a, sec a regular side jump, right? So that was diagonal, this is diagonal. So you're just holding D and you can do it the same way A. A regular side jump is going to be you're gonna turn your character away from it and you're gonna go mm. like that okay because that will that these are two different things they help you do they help you climb at two different speeds so you can do a simple regular diagonal side jump with a little five foot cone and a high wall right 
Come up here. Connect yourself. Double at it. Diagonal side jump. Oh, I missed it. But. <coughs> or you, could do, you would like you would go like the straight on side jump when you're just trying to like get I'd out see. get out quicker, so, basically. Yeah. So just like just like I'm teaching you, like this is a combination mechanic, right? So like I would do I can do a regular side jump right now if I wanted to to get high ground on you on one layer up. Like if I wanted to get that, I can. But now I, I throw in diagonal and and it's regular side jump. So what my thing is normally if I can slow down is like I go up right there. So I just did one diagonal and one side jump and then into a 90. And now I can just now I can 90 90 into a high wall right into into a thwifo cone. You see like all it, like my, the mechanics I'm doing here for the free build that you're like so like mm. adored about is just so simple. That's literally just I just one diagonal jump 190 or, or hold on. one diagonal jump. One side jump with a wall. Came around here, hit a Thwaifo cone with a high wall, hit another Thwaifo cone, connected my cone. You're literally just taking everything that you're teaching me, just combining it. Yeah, that's it. Like, that's dope. Okay. Very, very simple. So, okay, so so that's 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 like easier for me to understand because I, as I've been like, get better at those certain like moves. Yes. Then it's just really just piecing them all together, basically. Yes, exactly. So the okay. next thing I want to want to teach you just to get it down is the diagonal jump, right? Because you can throw this into, you can do this infinitely. And there's so many levels to it, right? Like, uh, I initially this shit's good like, too, because I get trapped in boxes a lot, and I'm yeah. like, this will help me like jump up a layer, you know? Yeah, like I said, this is the easiest way to climb out. Like, this is like, like the the side jump is what everyone has been doing for years, and like again, you can land below the ramp, you can bonk your head on the wall. Like, there's a lot of ways that even I'm messing up still. Like, you see, you're seeing me like mess up a couple times here, and so it's like, yeah, the diagonal is like pretty much you can't mess it up. Um, and so at a, at a core, it looks like you have your wall, and I always mention this, you find the sweet spot on the ramp. So just like, again, talking about how we've mentioned this already, we've mentioned, like, crosshair placement and, like, where you are. All that stuff matters. Like, like the, little, the little small details matter on how simple and how easy the build can be, right? So, like, right. for a Thwaifa cone, like, if I'm here, right, this is, this is too low, but if I'm up one, right, it's all about where I'm standing and, and where I'm placing, where I'm looking, right? Crosshair placement and where, where you are on the, on, the, on the ramp. So here... Sweet spot is like this little gap here. If you have performance mode on, you should be able to see this like little, this yeah, little gap. It. It's pretty clear. You're just going to stand on the gap. And at a core, again, you want to start every mechanic that you learn. If it's your first time ever doing it or like one of your earlier times doing it, you should, to master it, just like anything, you start slow. So mm -hmm. I'm literally going to stand here and I'm only going to press D and jump. Right? And then once I get that down, then I'm going to come back again. Okay? Stand in the sweet spot, find it, put a cone down, slow down, reset, like pick my hands up, D, jump. Come here again, find the sweet spot, D, jump, right? And then again, you can you can start going faster and faster and faster and then throwing your walls up. And there's a bunch of different levels to it, right? Like, but at the core, you have to understand where the sweet spot is. So again, if you if you need to analyze yourself, if you're doing the side jump and you're like, why did I, why did I, like a lot of people will, like they'll bonk their heads here or they'll, like, they'll do this. Like, and you can be like, yeah. oh, it's because I'm not in the sweet spot. Or let's say like, you're down here. Like, why am I like doing that? It's because I'm not in the sweet spot. So like, again, you find the sweet spot, and you hit it, and then you take it real slow, and then you can just work on throwing it all together and getting faster, and then you have to do walls. And you're seeing how, like, this this may look like a lot to going on, and it definitely is a bunch of different pieces moving, but... Because you're building that wall before you even jump. Yeah. That top you, wall. Yeah, because you have, like, this is, like, this is what I'm doing right now is, like, the final form of diagonal jumps. Like, it's just a little slow, right? Because the wall, the wall helps prevent from, like, someone coming here and doing this and doing... Like this to you, you know? Right, 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 right. So you put the wall up here. Like, imagine this is this wall here. And then, like, they, they have to come here. But by that point, you're already up. And then, <laughs> and then they're, you're here. And then maybe they get you here. And then you're just up again. And then now they're just, now they're doing a fly for cone on you to try to take height off of you. Mm. <laughs> but you got the height advantage. Exactly. So, so yeah, at the base, it's just simply put, you find the sweet spot and you diagonal jump to the right, to the left, whatever one feels most comfortable to you. And then just try to hyperanalyze why you might land below the ramp because I was too far forward, and all that. So I'll let you give it your give it your run. But yeah, these are all things that like you need to know how to do, and mm -hmm. they're all safe. They're all protected things. They're all things that like I'm not some flashy Peter Bot mechanics guy, and I can definitely put up my own against somebody that's like that. Like mm -hmm. I can either kill them or put up my own just by playing slow and playing patient and using 
what I've just shown you, like the high walls, the five foot cones, the side jumps, like all these things, like, because again, you throw it in a combination and you, you go, you know, you do a little side jump, but then you hit a little, oh, I mantled that. You, know, you hit a little shot here and then you come up here and you throw it in combination with the high wall and say, okay, I don't have it, but I'll hit a cone there. I'll come out and then I'll hit a little, another like basically a diagonal or a side jump with a high wall right here. So let me just, or you can go up like that, right? So that's like a high wall with a diagonal, right? Essentially is what I'm adding there. High wall. I'm here, boom. Like all these things can be thrown into combination and you can all use them to play slow. And that's why I do it because I'm not some, you're not seeing me come here and like full box, 200, full box, right. 200. Like I'm just, I'm a very smart and a patient player that I'm gonna wait for you to like be above like this and make that wrong little peak right there. And I'm gonna hit you right for 40. And then I'm gonna go up, exactly. I'm gonna go up and now I have that 40 HP advantage. And now, right, in my eyes, I'm just like, okay, I can jump in if I want to. I can make a play like this if I want to. But it's all about, Keeping your eyes on the opponent and this diagonal jump and the side jump and the swipe cones, all these things keep your eyes on the opponent, right? Like imagine, let's say this marker is the opponent, right? Like if I'm here, right? So keeping my eyes on the marker, right? While I'm going up and then now I have height. So like all I did was swipe cones, but it's while you're keeping your eyes. That's why it's so good because you can, again, diagonal right. jump, right? I can diagonal jump while looking down at the blue marker kind of, right? Like getting away from it, getting up and away. And now I have it. I'm here. Boom. Like... Mm. Versus these other things like 90s, right? Like imagine trying to keep your eyes on the on the marker. Yeah. You just 90s can't. or whatever. I don't know. Triple edits, like, right? You come in here and you're like coming out like this, and you're hitting, like you're just you're looking up. You're looking, looking at into sky. void, yeah. right? Versus the other things are just you're straight at the marker. So. Okay. Yeah. So let's uh, let's hop you, hop you on, and just start cranking it out. Um, I got a question, right? Like, yep. switch into like fighting. Yep. Um. Like, how do you, I can't like get into a wall unless I'm doing like, like I know the stupid little like, um, like this thing, you know, like when there's a wall here and you can kind of, yeah, yeah, phasing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Phase. Yep. But like, I see people they will have a wall and they'll just like, boom, right through hmm. or like they'll time their, um, they'll time their run so good. Like they'll shoot yeah, it a yeah, couple yeah, times right the and then just, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. And like, there's no hesitation or nothing. They're just yep. pickaxe and then they're in. Yep. So that's all that's all build time. There's a couple maps that I can show you that like you can literally sit there and like the, the map will like you'll go like this and you'll try to phase practice through it. Oh I fell down. Mm. You'll try to phase through it and it's all about timing. Like you can hold here, if you want to hold this floor here, I'll just try to phase in. Okay. Kind of understand like to show you. You just hold the floor. So it's like it's just timing and so that and then that, some of them are a little easier than others and like the wall one is like again timing and all those things and that can be practiced and that's a great thing to practice like that's a that's like a mechanic that is on the rise like and i think in about a year like everyone's gonna be able to just be like, that's gonna be like you know, yeah exactly so, so like um when you're breaking through walls right like yep. you know people usually build in wood unless it's like end game right so this is like a buck 50. i literally never shoot walls like i was seeing that you were talking about like Whenever you come down from the top, you should already be smacking the wall. Yep. Yep. Because then you can just hit it one more time and take it. Yep. Um. So I started trying to do that, but like, when you're like pushing someone, like, how do you how do you attack the wall with like a shoddy or an AR? Like, is there a certain thing do you do? Do you like pump it once? Gotcha. Like, what's gotcha, the method? Gotcha, do I gotcha. gotta shoot it twice? Gotcha. So what I'll do is the, the pickaxe is 75. So like, I'll be looking at the number, right? And I'll literally pickaxe just, I'll, is 75. I'll come to the wall. Yep. And now I know like it's 25 or 55 or 70, like, right? And then I'll just, now I can take it, right? So that's a lot of times I'll just do that base mechanic of just like, let's say I'm running up on this guy's wall right here. I'm going to come up here, right? And take it, boom. So it's just 75 damage is what you need. So it's a couple shots, three shots, three shots of the AR. Three shots. And you can take the wall. Okay. And so this is and like- And the wall doesn't regenerate unless they're like healing Unless they it, repair right? it, yep. Repair and so you can learn the values for the other walls here. Like if the guy builds metal, like, you know, as long as it's below 75, boom, you can take it. And so when you're talking about approaching the walls though, what I like to do is I will, if I'm doing it from like a straight, straight away angle, I'll like come here, I'll spray the wall and then I'll toss out cones because cones is the number one piece that you want to have, right? Cones allows you, if he gets all the walls here, right? Let's say he gets this wall, this wall and all the side of that one so you can see he gets all the walls here you can just you're up you're out no big deal right right but if you just get let's say like you put one cone and one wall it's still good but or let's say you just don't put anything like 
you're giving him full opportunity to piece you. So it's all about cones. And the big thing with cones is, again, just understanding how they place, right? We've talked about this a bunch. They, they place a lot further, right? So you can place cones, oh, okay. like you can be running to the wall from back here, right? And place the cones in the position before I'm even in this tile. Like you saw I had all them, all the piece here before I was even, like I'm, I'm in this tile, you know, I'm right. here. I was able to get every cone I wanted. And now, now I have the fight set up and now I can, you know, come here and place, place cones and fight from two angles and, Pressure from above and pressure from the wall and boom. Like, also again, like you just saw me do. You don't have to pressure. You don't have to actually like be here to pressure. Like you can, I can, you know, I can come like this, right, and just spray both. Of course, you want to be like quick and flicky with it. And if he makes an edit, you reset it quickly, right? But you don't have to be, you know, if he's in the box, you can, you can come here and then he's gonna be so focused on everything else. Boom, you take it. So it's better to not just like attack one wall and like hard focus that. Yeah, the best thing like you want like is guessing, basically exactly you want to you want to pressure from multiple different sides. But yeah, so coming up 75 HP for a wood wall, for any any wall pickaxe will take it. That's why, especially if you see like someone does this to you, and like this, you just come here and you just wait for him to edit it. Just Boom. smack it. Or like even a pump, right? Understanding pump damage, right? With a new hammer shotgun, you can just someone adds on you, like they make like let's say they're coming to make a full box on you, you just take the wall from them. Boom. How much does a pump? Do? Oh, it's like 55. 55. Yeah. Okay. This is AR, dude. So the way that walls work as well is if the more they edit it, right? So you'll see here, right? So the wall's at 98, right? So if I edit it, 43. If I edit it again, 18. If I edit it again, 9. 6. 5. Oh, what one. the hell? Alright, so it just gets weaker and weaker the more you edit it. So that's why, like, again, you wouldn't want to do this, right? Learning, like, both sides. You wouldn't want to just spam edit on someone's wall. And you, if you see someone else do it, right? Take it back. Boom. So reading that number, and also just, just so you know, like in your in your own game, that I'm not looking at the number. Every time I'm fighting somebody, I'm not looking at the wall HP number. It's it's gotten to the point where it's a muscle memory thing. Like I can look at this wall and say, this needs a bit more damage to it. Okay, now I can take it. You know, and I'm like, yeah, cool, the numbers there. And Is you want to look because like visual, like the way the wall looks. Yeah, exactly. When you get damage, exactly. Or, it, or yeah, you're no, like kind of exactly. like you're subconsciously like counting yeah. how many times you hit it. No, yeah, you can count, and it's also mostly like the way I look, the wall looks. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If I'm if I'm really really technical on it, I'll look at the number. But for the most part, like you know, and I also I like to get the walls so weak to where like there's not much confusion. Like for example. Like, uh, this wall here, like, if I do one, two, three, that's an, enough, but I'll just, you know, I'll throw in two more to make it look like, you know, so I know, I know it's one and I can take it, like, because you don't want to have that issue if you can, right? Right. So, so, like, um, how do you, how do you, all right, so we get the wall down, we get it down, it's like, um, it's like that, and then, hold on, what do you do, you just time it as you're going through to phase in yeah so phase, that's all going to be practice and there's a map for it i can show you it but it's all going to be yeah it's all going to be you can literally practice this with a friend too it doesn't you don't have to be on the map you can just be one v one and be like okay i'm gonna try to phase the wall, in right and you just hold the wall like if you just hold the wall here i'm just gonna try phase in and it's hard like right yeah no that shit looks super hard and it's a little bit easier i think if you slide into it but Probably because you got the ramp. <clears throat> no, it's definitely just it's just a hard mechanic to, to get down. That's the point though. It's like it's all about jumping and face up. And here, of course, the reason why the stair is like easier is because the stair pushes you through. So right. like I'm here. All right, like so. But it's Are just, there it's other just, like phase through methods with pieces like other than like the step thing? Is there like another one that kind of like like I seen um I think you were watching like a vod right? Yep. Of like Peter but. And you were like, um, or it might have been you or Ozzy. It was like he gets through every time. Like, does this push you up? Like when you're trying to push through that, is that does this work? Like, um, so okay, yeah, like so how like, this does basically. So if you were to, it's the same way. If you were to like do this here, like you'll you're, here, come here and just smack on this floor, and I'm just gonna hold it from above and just walk through, like push yourself through it. Okay. All so right. it's like it's not like 100 percent time. Like you you probably won't do it consistently like every single time but like a couple times through it right and so again understanding both sides of that if you're stuck in a box you could just go up to the top and try to pickaxe through if if the situation you know calls for it right you don't want to be doing it and getting killed and then same thing if you have a guy boxed you're like oh it's perfect i'm gonna take my time and then he starts pickaxing the floor like oh shit. put some walls here you know now okay come on through buddy and he comes through and he's dead right like so 
right understanding both sides of it but yeah no, that is something and then the thing same thing what you can do with like uh here so like come up to the top and and hold the floor here right there's just the cone floor put a cone floor all right so if i'm here all right i'm through okay but if i'm just gonna be here like you can phase things through walls to watch all right these are all my walls now box yeah, gotcha. so and no, it's not necessarily to box you. It's more so to like give yourself that spare piece. And so again, again, you can like, you can do this with a lot of things. Like you can phase. It's technically, it's technically not phasing through. It's just placing it through. But we'll just call it phasing through. You can phase through like a cone through a wall, right? You've seen this a bunch where you're doing this. You can do stairs, right? Where I'm replacing a wall. Like here, if you want to just sit, sit in this box right here and just hold this wall. Just get. Yeah, there you go. That's fine. Ready? All right, so I can put a cone through your wall. I can put a stair through your wall. Let me get it and then put a stair. Put and a you're cone. just um, like timing it. It's so just that timing. As soon as yeah. the wall breaks, the cone you're slides in there. Exactly. The you're, right there too. you're hitting it like like the same time. You're like just a very just slight, very very close. Like it's like I don't know how to explain. It. It's a millisecond. It feels like where you put and the cone. But you're hitting the like first. like you can't hit like both <laughs> build buttons at the same time and it'll do it right. You got to hit like yeah. You have to. I'm hitting cone, cone wall. First, cone wall. wall. Yep. Okay. Because also the big thing with this, like, let's say like you're fighting somebody who's a really, really good and you like, if you don't get the wall, you're dead. But if you get the cone through it, it changes the fight a little bit, gives them a makes them have a diff different angle, a different peak, like, you know, or let's say you get both and then he's just, now you have every angle, it's just aim now. All right. Um, so that's, that's a tricky thing you can do the phasing and then all the, all the, like the, the floor phase and all these other things are just practice. Like that just takes time. And to be truthful to you, I don't even have that like down. Like as you could tell, I couldn't get through your wall perfectly. But the big thing to understand is that you can place pieces through breaking things. So, like that, I told you to, to hold that stair there or to hold the floor here. Hmm. Like here, hold this floor still. You can hold it from below. Just hold the floor. Ready? You don't need you don't need it, but okay. All right, so I can get these two walls up above it. If you look up. Right? Okay. So if someone's ever like got you boxing like that, or let's say for example, let's say I'm fighting you right now, right? Don't build any more walls around yourself. I'm just gonna I'm gonna grab this wall here. If I want to, uh. to fight you, right? I can I can look around you, I can put all these walls around you while like turn around. There you go. I can put all these walls behind you without having to do it. It's all just phasing it through the through the builds here. So try to hold this wall. Alright, so like you're here, you're holding me out, okay? If I want to get this wall to your left or to your right. You're just going to break it and put a wall in. And here with a cone. If I want to get a cone in. And like while I'm not getting this wall here, but I'm getting all this piece, right? So now, take the wall. And boom. Like now, you're like, all the pieces there. Right? I can get, I can, you can full box through somebody holding turbo build is what you want to know. Okay, so so what you did right there, right? Like when you, yep. um, when you built like the wall and the cone. Yep. Um... In order to take this front wall, what is it? Just crosshair placement? Is what that the wanna, only difference? What do you mean? Like, um, so like when you were, when you were, um, you know, when you were breaking this wall, when you were like breaking this wall here, yep. and then you would throw a wall in there real quick, yep. you're just, it's just crosshair placement, right? Like you're, you're looking, just looking at this one, you're looking, where you looking place down it. for the cone, yep. and then if, yep. when you're ready it's to so take simple. this wall, yep. you just like look down basically. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yep. Okay. Yeah, because if you're up close to the wall like this, like, you can't replace this wall without, like, you have to, like, literally, like, you have to look, pickaxe it and look straight down to get it. Does that make sense? That's also something to yeah, know, is, like, yeah, where yeah. you can place, like, here, I can replace the wall. I know that happens, that used to happen to me a lot, like, years ago, where I would, like, try to grab somebody's wall, or, like, let's, let's say, like, I'm getting fought, he's jumping in, and I'd be like, why is he getting in? And, like, you know, here, spray through my wall. It's right through. Like, why, what, why is yeah, he getting in? Shit. I'm so close, I right? I do that shit all the time, but It's all, It's because you're not looking at the right angle. Like, you're placing the wall here. If, if It's going to place this wall first before it places this one. If you're looking at that certain angle. So you have to look straight down, right? So that's why what I'm saying, when I'm replacing this wall, I'm looking, like, I'm looking at you right now, and then I have to look down to get it. And that's okay. just the way it works. So, and then, yeah, for facing the other walls, it's literally just, like, where do you want to look? Or which wall do you want? Okay. I'll just get that one. Which wall do I want? Are you going to hold this wall on me? Which wall do I want? I'll get this one. Like, if I want cone, I'm just gonna look, place a cone. If I want a cone and floor above you. Floor now. Okay, now you have all the pieces. All the pieces here. You've got cone floor in your head, walls. Mm. Boom. And, like, you obviously don't do exactly what I just did there. That's like, you wanna take it slower and, you don't, and you're not gonna get everything. But just understand that that's what you can do is, is always huge.
Nice. I appreciate you guys for watching and sticking around for this long. I think overall we learned a lot. We learned Blyfo cone, side jumps, diagonal jumps, all those good things. I think these are very core mechanics that you yourself need to know and learn and master. So I uh, appreciate you guys. I'll see y'all later.